what happened to President Museveni was aptly captured by late Honorable Eria Kategaya in his book Impassioned for Freedom. Condemning Mr. Museveni's third term bid, Kategaya wrote, I have observed that the longer one stays in power, the more one is insulated from reality. The trappings of state apparatus tend to make one live an unrealistic existence. Sadly, President Museveni has been living this unrealistic existence for a long time now. For starters, he removed all doubt about who has been blocking our music concerts. Ridiculously, he says that I cannot stage concerts because I discredited his government to foreign investors. So, you can see, the same police which desperately wanted us to believe their stories about late comrade Zigiwine is exposed once again. They have been saying that our shows are stopped because we don't have enough ambulances, a traffic management plan, and that all of a sudden our venue has become too small to host our fans. Now President Museveni busts his own shadow by exposing their lies. Shamelessly, Mr. Museveni also told BBC News Africa that I'm an enemy of Uganda's progress. You can imagine the lack of shame. In case he has forgotten, let us remind him who and what the real enemy of Uganda's progress is. The real enemy to Uganda's progress is a 30-year-old dictatorship which has nothing left to offer to Uganda. The real enemy of Uganda's progress are the sickening levels of corruption for which President Museveni is a chief priest. The real enemy to Uganda's progress is the breakdown of democratic values characterized by rigging elections, violation of civil rights and liberties, and the blatant disregard of the law. The real enemy of Uganda's progress is a failed education system where millions of our nation's children do not finish primary school, where children study under trees and those who are lucky to finish school have no skills whatsoever. The real enemy to Uganda's progress is a sick health care system where a few healthy facilities are understaffed and heal equipped, where health workers are poorly paid and the few drugs sold on the black market, where casualty ward at Mulago Hospital is itself a casualty of victims of accidents sleeping in their blood on the cold floor. The real enemy to Uganda's progress are the rampant land eviction where poor Ugandans are thrown off the only thing left in their possession by the powerful and mighty. The real enemy to Uganda's progress are the murders of our people at hands of the state, Kasese being only an example. The real enemy to Uganda's progress is the nepotism and secretanism practiced in the public service and championed by President Museveni himself, where merit no longer counts and a small clique controls every aspect of the state. The real enemy to Uganda's progress is the breakdown of state institution and erosion of their independence, where the president controls the judiciary, parliament, police, IGG, etc. The real enemy to Uganda's progress is the excessive wastage of public resources, where President Museveni and his colonies bulge in abundance at the expense of an overtaxed poor Ugandan. The real enemy to Uganda's progress is the illegal, high-handed grabbing of Uganda's public assets and resources. You can add on and on. The enemy of Uganda's progress is not me and other Ugandans who are fighting to free our nation from oppression, suppression, and exploitation. Bubuwain Joya replying the President Museveni ku Twitter. It was a very short reply. Elanga najiko zemo audio kwe ili kuchane eno na ye unako lualiro ate a reply nze President Museveni na yongira ko ebi ntubi nji nyo na yongira achali kuchintu chechimu President Museveni uyabade ku BBC ne Alan Kasuja na agamba nti Bobby Wine is an enemy progress of Uganda's economic prosperity na yonga necha mwagize zecho nti Bobby Wine ya agenda mu Amerika na agamba ba Amerika tiba investing mu Uganda e chintu e chali chitufu nga Bobby Wine ya agenda mu Amerika na agamba ba Amerika balikirao okuwa Uganda military aid kubanga military aid yeyo teko zesebwa kukuma ba na Uganda wa kuwa protectinga wawula bajiko zesa okubatu chalinga na okubata na hivi ntwebila labwebi tiyo abantu awageza kuku wakanya imiaka asa tumwena president Museveni njaba de mabukule mbeze bobi waini mwenu reply ebade very very detailed 
elanga bye bintu bye mubya yogedde konti omusajja ya exposing ze obulimba bwe ya exposing ze government ye na exposing ne police nga yatandikide ku concert ze ze bakansolinga anenga yasina wa example mu katabo ko mugenzi eri ya kategaya nga yagambi enti omuntu walwe nnyo mu bukulembeze atuka na bange ekintu chokka kyalooza kwe kwe kumira mu ntebe nga chokka chokka kyalooza atuka na banga nga livinga unrealistic existence nga tachayagala kumanya chi echi eh, echi eh, ku ground wabula kya singo okufako kwe ku protectinga entebe ye agambye otunulira police ebisere bisinga police ebadde gamba ndi teina equipment zimala teina ambulances teina traffic management plan oba mbune chifocha fechitono okuhosting aba fans bafe ebintu ate mu 7 bia exposing zenti babadde bakolachi nti babadde balimba kubanga president mu 7 ye ate ku BBC yala zenti Bobby Wine ye kennyini ya mstopinga nga orders ziva from above eranga president mu 7 ye kwasiza nti lwachi ye a enjoyinga prosperity atenga yagamba aba America baleme kujja ku investing ani chimakinga clear nti president mu 7 yabadde blocking shows a Bobby Wine neka akati ku issue yo kumuita enemy owa Uganda Bobi Wine agambye kambalage enemy ye nyini nyini owa Uganda nga agambye mu seveni you are the real enemy of Uganda's progress agambye the real enemy to Uganda's progress is a 34 year old dictatorship which has nothing to offer omulabe wa Uganda asingira dala yo musajja abadde mu bukulembeze emyaka asatu mwena nga tacha aina chintu chonna cha sobola kolera Uganda agamba the real enemy of Uganda's progress yenguzi ejudebuli wamu atenga president Museveni ye chief priest the real enemy of Uganda's progress is the broken democratic values ngagambi omunga mwe muli okubba obululu okuva yolitinga rights za abantu no butafa ku mateka agambi ayongere na gamba omulabe wa Uganda yenyini ye system ya education enfu enyo ngabana abasinga te bamala primary school atenga nabo abayambidwa ne bamala ala bava yunga teba ina chintu na chimu chiba manye the real enemy of uganda's progress ye health care system eruaza mu uganda nga malwa alilo abakozi teba mala teri dagala ni hivi koze sebo benjini tebili yo agambi wubo ya galo kuchilaba gende mula gomo casualty ward wadi ye njini ajise casualty nchi ugenda yo nga ba victim wa ba accident beba se momo sai on a cold flow agamba the real enemy of uganda chechi bataka ichi judebuli wamu ngaba antu waba goba kutakali yawe atenga chechi ntucho ka bana uganda cheba ina ayungira na agamba anti the real enemy of uganda's progress chechi taba antu echi itiri de enyo ngate ebisede ebisinga chikole wana state ilanga example jawa de yeye kasese the real enemy of uganda's progress ye nepotism secretarism erimu public service mu uganda ngafe natu chimanyi nti okufuna omulimu omulungi mu uganda tebichi aliko wasomachi wabula ani akumanyi atenga agamba nti chino its champion by president museveni himself ayungira na gamba the real enemy of uganda's progress is the institution ezita e, chali independent ngabuli chimu president museveni ya controllinga ngatandikide ku judiciary abalamuzi parliament ne police ngabonna amateka bagafuna kufa wa musajjo mu the real enemy of uganda's progress agamba is the excessive wastage of public resources by president museveni atenga byonabi kola ngate wali explanation akoze sa billions and billions mbwa alambula mbwa alimu wealth creation recently mu commonwealth meetings eziva de Uganda bakoze sa billioni kumina tano mbwa wagula basi nga bazi koze sa enako satu zoka esawa zinonga mpakingi ebi ntubi nji nyo mbwa ulida ayongira na gamba the real enemy of Uganda's progress is the illegal high-handed grabbing of Uganda's assets and resources ayongira na gamba nti ye si ye enemy wa Uganda obaba na Uganda bonna abageza ko kulwanire dembe amaliza na gamba you can add on and on but the real enemy to Uganda's progress is not me or other Ugandans who are fighting to free our nation from oppression suppression and exploitation temwe bilukufunenda gamuntu peace